I'm going to sit in the back corner. Uh, are you hearing that, James? Yes. Wait. Are you hearing that, James? I was. Okay. There you go. So, um, what I was attempting to do is create a sort of slide puzzle. Eventually, I was going to incorporate uh, vector images, but I couldn't get it to work with numbers. So that's a that's a problem for another day. Uh, essentially. What you have is you have this this little three by three slide puzzle grid right here. Uh, it's not random. I just put the numbers in whatever order I felt like. And so the idea is when you click one of these buttons, it will move your blank spot in whatever direction you pick. And so essentially, you want to put the slide puzzle back into its original order. So you want the one to be here, the two to be here, and so on. Um, Apparently, transcluding with macros is a little bit harder than I expected. So right now, when you click up, uh, it tries to put, th this code is fun. This is something I found out that was pretty fun. So if you look right here, oh. Well, originally it was putting, uh, it was putting a transclusion in there. What I had was something along the lines of this with uh, what I was trying to call. And that would put the true in there. Now I don't know why it's putting true in there. Uh, so basically, it finds the blank tiddler. It puts the value that you're trying to move into there into it. And then it will erase the uh, the tiddler that you move to. I don't have it erasing the tiddler that you move to yet because it's searching for a blank tiddler, and I don't want to overwrite all of them with true just by moving around because that would be a little unfortunate. So down here, uh, we were playing around with a couple of things. Uh, the idea was to have it keep track of what's down, left, up, and right of where you are currently. And so it knows that when you move to just put it there. Brandon, is this similar to what you're doing? Kind of, yeah. Because you have to keep track of where you are, right? Yeah. So, so you're, you're bo both trying to move in space, mm -hmm. you know, or in a grid. And, and you know, we, have, we have a whole class here to, to debug issues. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can use the list fields as an as a. So array, array list. So it would, it would keep a it would keep an array as a list. Right? Is that what an array list is? It's kind of like um, when you call an array list, it's like it's in a grid. So it's like yeah. zero, zero, three would be like top row. Yeah. Yeah. Well, zero, two. Right, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, these are already in a list. The, those are two lists, yeah. which simulates an array list. Yeah, which is yeah. Um, that's kind of. I think. I don't know that yet, and I think that's one of the things I might try to. I'm working on this summer. Um, so I don't know. Um, JavaScript is uh, strangely different than Java. Yeah. And HTML. Yeah. So the, that's. I know a, Java and HTML. Yeah. So. Well, HTML. 
HTML is a lot like tiddlywinky. Yeah, you could, you might need to write this in JavaScript. Well, I tried writing it in JavaScript, but I ran into a couple of issues. Yeah. Uh, one, I don't know JavaScript. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the biggest issue right there. Uh, two, I don't know how to define it as a macro so that other parts of TiddlyWiki will recognize it because you can't switch back and forth between Wiki code and JavaScript code. I think you There's a JavaScript plugin you have to get. You have to get it. There's a JavaScript plugin you have to get. Yeah, it doesn't always work. Um, it's very selective of what JavaScript it wants to use. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is, um, so Steve's project is an interesting illustration of um, the challenges of asking a question. Because it's hard to explain what he's trying to do in a way that I'm understanding it exactly. Um, and he could and should ask in the tiddlywinky group. But in order to get a response, you have to be able to frame a question in a way that somebody else would understand what you're trying to do. Um, so my guess would be that if you pose this, that you'd get an answer back because I, I think what he's trying to do is eminently doable because I don't think you need an array list to solve that. I'm pretty sure it's just, um, in, and you look at Brandon's code. What I'm trying to do is yeah. really, really simple. All exactly. I do is when I click up, I want two to get put into this box. That's the problem I'm trying to solve right now. I don't care about but, the but, functionality yeah, all it is a whole. Right. I can but, fix that on but, my own. But yeah, don't worry about the functionality, but you, you have to, ex what I was starting to do, did you keep some of the code that I wrote at the bottom? And you'll see how I, and I don't know if it works, but yeah. So, so you have to, um, I tend to write like, when I get this, I write like a debugging script. And I say, I want this to be this, to be this, to be this. And you start with putting in your hard value codes and you attempt to change out to transclude things and eventually you figure out exactly where it is that you want it to be. So like down on the bottom, I have, um, you know, what I did was what? And it tells us the value of what I did. So now if you scroll up, if you click on up and left and right, it tells you at least what button you last pressed. And you probably knew that already, but I had to start from the beginning. So if you, you have to kind of write yourself a little story and see if you can get it to, yeah, we weren't able to get the values of, I think what he needs to do is. Well, the problem is if I knew how to put the right values into this yeah. Tiddler, then I'd already know how to put them into the Tiddler. I want to put them in. Right. No, I get that. So, but, but yeah, exactly. So That's, you're, you're close. It's the same problem. Just yeah. You might ways. need, the other thing you could do is you could try it with two buttons. Maybe you press up and then go mm -hmm. because it may be that we're having a problem in state like you press a button i think um jillian ran into that issue right she, when you do the pull down it puts the value of the tiddler in it but then you have to click the go button to do the navigate to so it might be that you have to do it in two steps mm -hmm. so and that would be fine functionality we don't care about that it's annoying but but at least it works. At least it works. So, and then you figure out how do you, so Derek, did you run into any of that? Like two step or everything of yours is one step. And did you have that issue at all? Uh, yeah, I, that's what I'm having now. Definitely. You're at the same place. Because when, like you're in the dungeon and you go right, you kind of sidestep right. I need you to move right and also turn right. I think there maybe maybe there are two moves. So I need to two you need to change two values. You should be able to change two values with one button press if you're writing to different tiddlers, but not if the second value is dependent on the first. Yeah. Is that what? And I, and yeah, typically does this weird thing where all of the the steps in the button technically happen at the same time, yeah. uh, ignoring whatever changes have been made until the button's done. So like that's you can that's say, that's and I think, and why does it do that? Could, could say that again, Steve. Because basically, I think... basically, it takes the whole button and it, it treats it as one independent action that all occurs practically simultaneously. It is technically doing them separately because that's how computers work, but it keeps the values the same until it's done doing the button. And why? Who would design such a stupid program? The guy who made TiddlyWiki. Yeah, but why does he have to do it that way? So think about what TiddlyWiki is. It's an HTML single page application. It's an HTML page. It's not 
when you refresh it, it refreshes all the values at the same time. So you can't change a value and then work with that changed value until you refresh or until you press a button. Then it has the new value and now you can refresh it again. It's a single, it only maintains state, a single state. It's not like multi-state. I'm way out of my depth for explaining why that is, but it's sort of the difference between like a game, which is not a single page application. It's a real data structure um, that you're moving in and things are happening. Maybe somebody else actually knows what they're talking about, but my understanding of the limitation of HTML5, it's single state. It's like you change it once at a time. Am I ready, Warren? I'm just wondering if it's possible to make another tiddly wiki that's like a shadow to the wiki, but it's a separate page that you write to and then write back from. Yeah, and then you might as well be using something other yeah. than tiddly wiki. <laughs> and it's just an HTML page. Well, no, it's more than that. And then you might, I mean, the, 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 the philosophy of tiddly wiki is to maintain itself as a single page app. Um, so you could pass them around. You can make them, there's, there's just HTML and they're infinitely writable by anybody who's got an, uh, can write to HTML. So it's like we're running up against the limitations of the single page app, I think. We're getting close. I don't think we've hit them yet. Try, well, no, 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 there's, there's you know, but you're, in the beginning of the semester, I said, whatever you ask, whatever question you ask, the answer is yes. Like, can I do this? Can TiddlyWiki do this? And the answer is always going to be yes. Maybe I lied. <laughs> um, but for your applications, and if you both need to do the same thing, that's who cares, then just have two buttons. And maybe that's, if you can get it to work with two buttons, then at least you can, then you've got a question of how do I make it work with one button? Right. And I think the answer becomes JavaScript because JavaScript sort of operates over here and my understanding and then maybe, can, I don't know. And, and I don't know that it's an array list. Okay. Thanks, Steve. 1045. Yeah.